Hello, I'm Naomi from Jasmine Pottery Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the pinch pot technique to create some small plant pots using one of our clay at home packs with terracotta clay. What you're going to need for this project is your clay, sculpting tools, a paintbrush and your slip which is like clay glue. I'm going to show you how to make two pinch pots. So start by cutting your clay in half and then with your remains in clay you can pop it back into your bag, keep it sealed and keep it nice and moist. So to begin with we're going to make a ball of clay. So you start by hitting the clay with the palms of your hands. Once you've made your ball of clay, what we're going to do next is take your thumb and we're just going to poke a hole in the middle and just make sure you don't come all the way through, you want to leave a bit of a gap at the end. So once you've made your hole, what we're going to do next is we're going to pinch with your thumb and your fingers just like this, rotating around the clay. So you're going to pop your thumb inside like that and then just gently and rhythmically squeezing and turning. So starting from the base and you'll feel the clay start to move up. It's really important not to just randomly pinch in different places. You want to keep turning and squeezing. So it's all about being slow, keeping to a rhythm. So you can see the clay is already starting to move up and open out. So you just want to curve your fingers to make sure that your hole doesn't go too wide. I'm just going to show you reverse so you can see what I'm doing. So then we want to leave your pot just to get a little bit harder because the clay is quite wet we just want to let it harden for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it. Now I'm going to show you how to do a bit of a taller pot. So before we made quite a wide pot using a ball of clay next we're going to make a bit of a taller pot. So we start by the same technique making it into a ball Right, so this time we're going to make it into more of an oval shape. So once you've got your oval shape, what we're going to do next is we're going to push your thumb into it. And then we're going to start squeezing from the base as we did before. Again, I'm going to let that harden for a little bit and come back to it. Okay, so once your clay has hardened a little bit, you can start to get rid of some of the marks on it. So you can smooth some of the top of it with your fingers, get rid of any little lines. What you can also do to get rid of these finger marks is you can use a metal scraper 
Or if you don't have a metal scraper, you can use just a, an old card, plastic card, which you can also cut into different shapes as well, so if you want to reach inside. Yes, I'll show you with the scraper. So what you can do is just pop your pot upside down and then just scrape in it like this. just want to make sure that your clay is hard enough for it to hold its shape so you know if it if it's a cold day it might need a bit longer so I, I've just left it 10 minutes but if you still feel like your clay is a bit soft and it starts to distort the shape of your pot when you're doing this then leave it a little bit longer leave it half an hour or 15 minutes you know just keep checking it Make sure when you're scraping, take off any excess clay. So you can smooth it with your hands or you can use a sponge as well. But with if you are if you are using a sponge, make sure that it's not really wet, you just want it to be damp. Yeah, so you can do inside if you need to as well. same again for your other pot so you can use a metal scraper or again you can use a credit card Okay, so once your pots have hardened up a little bit, you can just get a damp sponge. So you want it to be damp, not really wet, and you can just give it a little smooth over. Get rid of any cracks. So you can have two small pinch pots like this and you can decorate them however you want using your tools or for this next part I'm going to join them together to make one big plant pot base so start by turning your taller pot upside down making sure that it's stable next you're going to turn your larger pot upside down and we're going to join them together so taking your tool we're going to create a scratchy pattern on the base and then again on the top and this just gives the clay a rough surface to help it to stick together. So once you've done your scratchy pattern which is called scoring, next you're going to need your slip. So slip is just like clay glue. I'm going to take a little bit of slip, paint it on both the top and the bottom where you've done your scratchy lines. Just make sure that it's nice and stuck up. Next we're going to take your leftover parts of clay. I'm just going to break a little bit off. So I'm, I'm going to break a little bit off and we're going to create a coil. So we're just going to take a little bit, roll it into a small sausage like this. And then you want to use a surface that's not going to move when you roll. 
and then you're just going to go right from the tips of your fingers all the way down to the palm of your hand and keep moving along. So don't just go in one place because you'll end up with an uneven coil. You want to just glide your hand along and keep moving it. So you want to make it long enough that it's going to fit around here. So this is just to get rid of your join. So we're going to wrap it around. And cut off any excess if you have any excess. And then we're going to just use your finger to smooth it on. If you need to hold the top just to make sure that it doesn't become unbalanced. So we're going to make a face so you can be as creative as you like. I'm just going to do quite a simple face for now. So you can cut off a little bit of your from your leftover clay. I'm just going to start shaping it into a nose. So I'm going to do quite a square nose, quite stylized. And then you can just play around with how it sits on your face. And then you want to take your tool and you're just going to mark out where it's going to go. So once you're happy with where it's going to go, do your scratchy. Take your slip, paint your slip on, scratch on the back of your nose. A little bit of slip. And then just sticking that on to your face. Right, so for this bit, I'm just going to mark out where I want the eyes to go. I'm just going to have closed eyes but you can do whatever you want with yours. And then a little smile. And then if you want to make any patterns or anything on the base of your pot you can just use your loop tool just to scoop out some of your clay. Hope you've enjoyed our video today on how to use the pinch pot technique to create a plant pot. If you've enjoyed our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Our packs are available to buy online from our Etsy store or on our website. Keep crafting!